Hello everybody, it is Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Bachelor Pad. Um, today we are going to be hanging out with Mr. Logan. I have a couple of things on our to-do list. Uh, first things first, we are actually going to be meeting up with David. Um, now if you guys remember, uh, Logan and David really have not been on great terms because Logan basically slept with, um, or not Logan, David slept with Logan's girlfriend <laughs> and Logan found out and as I'm sure you can guess, was not very happy about it. So they kind of went from being best friends to just kind of being friends and things have been really awkward and a lot of tension and Logan has had a lot of time to think about what happened uh, and basically form or figure out how he really feels about it. I don't know if I'm saying this in a good way, but that's how I'm going to put it. Um, so they have made plans to hang out this morning and uh, David is really excited because he, well, he's not excited. He's optimistic because he, you know, feels like maybe Logan forgives him, whatever. And Logan, I think Logan is mostly just really, really nervous about it because, um, I mean, it's just, it's, you feel really anxious when you're about to meet up with someone who you kind of had a fight with and you know how it goes. So that is the first thing that we are going to be doing. So we are going to go ahead and, um, respond to mail. I don't know what that is, but we're going to do it. Uh, okay. We're going to not go with her to work. Um, and we are going to go ahead and travel with David, if I can find him. There he is. And then, uh, later tonight, once Olivia gets off work, we're actually going to go out with her. And, uh, yeah, so that is kind of what is in store for this part. I'm super sad because, um, this is the last part before the finale. Next part's the finale super sad about it um but I think we're gonna go to a library but I kind of like the Windenburg library plus David lives in Windenburg so it's kind of like Logan's coming to him I don't know <laughs> I'm weird uh so yeah we're gonna go to this library but yeah so this is the last part before the finale and I'm kind of upset about it um all of our loose ends have pretty much been tied up uh so the next part's really just well, I guess there's a couple more loose ends that we got tied up, but, um, next part's a celebration, guys. I hope you're, uh, excited. I know I sure am. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, anyways, so we're headed out to the library. Logan invited David to the library because David is an author, loves books, loves reading, that type of thing, and so, uh, Logan figured that it was kind of fitting to show that Logan cares about David and his interests to, uh, to go to somewhere that David would enjoy. So that is why we have chosen to come to the library. I don't think I've ever even been to this library before. It's kind of spooky and it's making me uncomfortable. I definitely thought that it was a lot nicer than this and I'm kind of having second thoughts. So I think that we are just going to sit outside because it's creepy in there and I don't want to go in there. So yeah, we're just going to sit outside. <laughs> we're going to sit this one outside. Um, so let's go ahead and ask him how his day is going. Maybe brighten it up a little bit. Um, we're gonna get to know him. There you go. Uh, um, <laughs> and while they're doing all this, I'm going to kind of explain to you guys where Logan is coming from right now. Basically, Logan has had a lot of time to think about what happened between them. And he is, he's, you know, cleared his head. He's no longer the jealousy talking. Um, and he's realized that... Um, David was in a really, really fragile place when everything went down with Penny. Uh, David was going through a lot, and as much as that doesn't make what he did okay, it does make it so that 
Logan feels he can forgive. And so right now, Logan is basically just saying, listen, I get that things were hard for you. Your brother had just gotten divorced, which was... The divorce was really, really hard on David. I know it probably doesn't seem like it would be, but uh, David really looked up to his brother and looked up to his brother's relationship with Helen. And so when that relationship ended, it was kind of like... It, it affected David a lot and kind of made him not believe in love anymore, which is really dramatic, but that's, that's how he felt. And so that is why he kind of did what he did. And I mean, again, it's not okay that he did that, but it's understandable, you know, when you take into consideration what he was going through. And so Logan is basically just letting him know that I understand why you did what you did. I understand that you were in a really tough place. And as much as it, I, I don't think it's okay, obviously it's not okay, uh, you've apologized. And I know that you, um, you regret what you did. I know that you're very sorry and I forgive you. And also, I think Logan also realizes that it's a two-sided thing. Sure, David shouldn't have made moves on Logan's girlfriend, but Penny shouldn't have reciprocated. You know what I mean? Like, and it was a long, ongoing thing that they had. And so it's not just David's fault. Penny shouldn't have, you know, shouldn't have reciprocated. That's the best way I can think to put it. And so it's it's not just David's fault. And Logan definitely forgives him. I mean, he forgave Penny really quickly, so it's kind of not fair, in my opinion, that he forgave Penny so quick, but took so long to forgive David, when really, they're both equally at fault. Uh, I think David's going to the bathroom, so we're just gonna let him go do his thing, you know what I mean? Uh, we still have like six hours until Olivia gets off work, so I think that maybe we should do something fun. Um, okay, I'm gonna really quickly see if I can find the other guys in here and see if they're working or not. Uh, Chris is not working. Brent, we don't know Brent's job apparently. <laughs> we don't know if Brent's working or not. Um, well, we are gonna try, I thought I paid the bills. Boy, you better pay those bills. But after that, um, we are going to head out with all the guys. Hopefully, Brent can come. And Chris as well. And we are going to go out to the club. We're going to do some midday clubbing because that's the kind of let's play this is, apparently. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, we should have gone to karaoke. That would have been way better. What am I doing with myself? Clubbing at noon, girl. I should have done karaoke. Should have done karaoke. I'll never forgive myself for this. Should we do karaoke or should we just go? I mean, I already clicked the club, so I might as well just go to the club, I guess. But now I want to go to karaoke. Ugh, God. Idiot. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Oh, well. Clubs are fun, too. Um... Yeah, it'll be nice. It'll, it'll be nice to do some clubbing. Uh, the reason I wanted to come to the club was so that um, Logan could come play the DJ mixer. Uh, what is his DJ skill? Five. Is that good? Is that cause okay, boy, you need to get off my mixer. Who is this? Laurent Collins. This is Marcella's ex-boyfriend. Uh, uh, in case you didn't know, Marcella is Chris's wife. Yep. True story. Okay, boy. Let's call him over here so that he can stop playing music. There you go, buddy. It's Logan's time to shine. Uh, DJ mixing along with singing have always been like hobbies of Logan's and I think he painted a bit too. He's a very artsy guy. Uh, he truly is. So we are gonna play some jams. You know how it goes. Uh, and literally no one is dancing. Chris, oh no, Chris is going to the bathroom. True, true. I mean, same. 
Apollo's dancing. He knows what's good. That's right, boo boo. Oh, I get it, honey. We're attracting a crowd. Oh God, apparently Marcus doesn't like Brent very much. Apollo left. Oh, Marcus is br br breaking it down. Okay, I need. Oh my God. Get it, honey. Get it. Oh, he is slaying the game. Oh my God. Who is she? Oh, oh heck yes. Oh, this boy. Wow, I'm like beside myself right now. I did not realize that he had these moves. Marcus Flex, you are something else. Okay, Babu. Oh, Jade's coming up too. Jade, you want to get some? Oh, Paulo's still grooving over there. Man, this is fun. I like DJ mixing. <laughs> I can't really hear the music. Can you guys hear it? Is it good? Is he doing good? I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, did you see? Did you see that? What just happened there? <gasps> we got tips! What? That was spectacular, yo. A few of the thims. A few of the thims. A few of the sims thought Logan did a great job. They enjoyed the music so much they decided to tip. Logan earned $10 in tips. Yes, boo. Oh, this girl's trying to get all up in your business. Okay, girl. Arania. I see you. This guy, he's bald, but that's okay, Chaz. I still think you're cool. Um. <laughs> Well, uh, oh, he's really getting it. Oh, look at these two. I like how none of our friends are dancing, but it's fine. Oh, God. Eva Capricosa is just, like, kissing up everybody. Like, honey, chill. <laughs> like, stop it. <laughs> My gosh. Is that, like, a type of greeting that I've just never seen before? Oh, look. David is over here supporting us. What a good friend. See, he's like, you forgave me, so I'm gonna dance for your okay DJing. We got more tips. $30. That's right, boo. Leveled up to level six. Now play and switch to a new genre of music. What? Logan, wow. He can engage with the audience. Okay, Marcus is literally slaying my life. What the heck? That's intense. Break beats. I think that's the new one we got. Remixes. Let's play some remixes. Oh, uh, well, that's fun. God, Marcus is killing it. Let's hype up the crowd, yo. Can I do that? Um, I don't know. Oh, maybe I have to do it from here. Get hyped. Oh, heck yeah. This is so fun. Why have I never played with this before? We got $12 in tips. Because we're spectacular, yo. Okay, okay. God, Marcus is still just getting it. Oh, Dominic's getting it on over there, too. Yes, boy. Yes. Oh, Paolo. Do you see that spin, you guys? Oh, Jade's doing it, too. Man, they're killing it. I like the party house. They're a fun group of people. Mm-hmm. I like this. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun right now. I don't know if you can tell. But this is like, I'm living for this right now. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, it's getting pretty close to 6 o'clock, which is when Olivia actually gets off work. So I think I might go ahead and skip until 6. Uh, and then we will go somewhere with her. Probably just to a cafe. We'll just stay in Windenburg because that just seems to be... The place of the day. We're having some Windenburg adventures up in here. Did you hear that voice crack, guys? It was pretty intense. Anyways, <laughs> I will see you guys at 6 p.m. in game. Okay. Oh my god, did we just get a 60, 72 dollars in tips? Okay, I'm sorry. This is too fun. Okay, wow, traveling with Flynn and friends. Do you see this? That is so cute. Um, we are with Olivia now. I think we might go to the bar maybe. Um, yeah, let's go to the bar. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna chat with her for a little bit. We got something we need to say. Uh, it's not bad, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know you're shaking in your boots because you think that something bad's gonna happen. It's not. Uh, I'm in, like, a really weird mood today, you guys. I'm, like, in a really good mood. I'm super happy and energetic. 
which I don't know how I'm energetic because I just finished working four days in a row at my job, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling very energetic and happy, but I'm also like really tired at the same time, and I think I'm just loopy because I'm really exhausted. Like I just feel energetic, but in reality I'm dying because I'm dying. That's all there is to it. Okay, the chairs in this bar are not, I'm not feeling it. I'm really not. Uh, I guess we have to sit. Well, I guess I don't want to sit in like, okay, fine. Fine, we'll come sit at the bar. I don't want to, but I guess we will. We kind of have to. It's whatever. I'm seriously not living for the, these table setups. Like, why, EA? Why did you do this? But it's fine. It's totally fine. Olivia is so pretty. Like, I'm obsessed with her, can I just say. Anyways, let's give her a heartfelt compliment. Brighten her day. And we are going to blow her a kiss because we love her. And basically what is happening is Logan loves Olivia. Okay, you guys? He really, really loves her um, very, very deeply. He really does um, and he has kind of decided that he really wants to move in with Olivia and her daughter Cassidy he wants to help support them and he really really feels like um, he you know he wants to be a family with them uh, that's that's really what it is and so yeah, he is basically going to be asking Olivia if he can um, move in, basically, with them. And of course, he's going to, you know, help out a heck of a lot. Uh, that is kind of the point. Um, he just loves her and wants to be with her and wants to support her and all of that good stuff. So yeah. That is basically what is going down. Um, we're just gonna have a good time at the bar first before we ask. I think Mitchell just came in here and stole my girl's drink and I'm not down. I am not down, I'm just saying. Not okay. I don't know where she's going. Um, I really, oh, okay, okay, chill though, girl. Do you see that little symbol, that one up there? Let me just, let me, let me, girl, girl, oh, soulmates, oh, oh, look at that, two sims, one heart, that's when you know, I told you he loves her, guys, y'all yeah, probably thought I was making that ish up, I don't make stuff up, he loves her, and honestly, I think finding Olivia is a big part of why he was able to, oh, hell no, we ain't saying goodbye, why he was able to forgive David because he feels like not necessarily like he feels like it's a good thing that he was able to um, that he doesn't I don't know how to put this properly <laughs> we're asking to move in um, okay let me just take a second and try and figure out what I'm trying to say you guys Logan feels like at the end of the day him and Penny separating is a good thing because if they didn't separate he never would have found Olivia. Wow, I'm saying he needs to help them out. They got $23,000 in the bank. They don't need him. I'm just saying. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, we're gonna move in with them anyways. Anyways, yeah. So, not that he's like grateful to David for like sleeping with his girlfriend but at the same time he kind of is glad that it happened in a way in like a weird way do you guys get what I'm trying to say because if it didn't happen then um, he wouldn't have met Olivia and Cassidy and Cassidy is so sweet you guys oh someone said that eating dirt was okay but someone else said that eating dirt will make you die is it okay to eat it? Who the heck is telling her that eating dirt will make her die? Let's just say it's really unhealthy. Like, I'm not gonna be like, if you eat dirt, then people are gonna bully you. Because, I mean, 
they, they'll probably tease you a little bit, but like, it's not, it ain't gonna be that serious. Um, okay, I'm gonna have take up. Bish, who, who do you think you're pregnant with? Oh, probably, um, Logan. Well, whatever. I don't want her to take a pregnancy test because I don't want her to be pregnant. So let's not. Oh, oh. Look at Logan. First thing he does is walks in and makes them a meal. He's like, yeah, that's right. I'm going to take care of you girls. Cute. What a good guy. Honestly, stand up guy. Logan, I think out of all the guys, actually, I don't know. Good question, guys. Out of the four boys, Brent, Chris, David, and Logan, which one would you date or marry? Let me know because I'm curious now. Uh, I don't know. I feel like not David because he's like too wishy Like, I don't know. He doesn't have a job. Like, I guess he's not. He writes books, but like, come on. <laughs> um, not David. Maybe Brent. But Brent's very emotional. Probably Chris, if I'm being honest with you guys. I like Chris. I mean, he's kind of hot-headed. Did you seriously only make one serving? Okay, you are going to give that to Olivia. And then you're going to come in here and make whatever this is for everyone else. Olivia, come eat this. Um, yeah, you just get it. Because I want you to have it. So, yeah. Cassidy Middleton. This... Oh, she has her dad's name. This is Cassidy's dad. His name is Mark. He's not that great of a guy. He kind of screw up, but it's fine. She's a pretty cute kid, though. Mm, 11 days till she ages to a teen. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna have her go use the tea. And on that note, I am actually also going to go ahead and end this part here. The next one will be the finale, unfortunately. We just have a couple little loose ends to tie up before we have our big season end finale. And of course, the day after the finale, there will be the slide show where we look back on all the screenshots I took during the slots play. So, I want to thank you all so very much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. I hope that you're all having an amazing day, and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, guys.